Hey gamers, Gaming After 50 here, and welcome back to Exile, where the morning of day 19, overnight, we traveled. We loaded up a bunch of stuff, and we traveled from our camp up here, all the way down back to our original camp. And when we got here, we put aside the stuff we need for our chem station. We're still after one acid. We have the stuff we need for a cement mixer. There's the 22 forge aheads we had that we left here. There's the 11 that we brought with us. There's our nerd armor. We made a shovel. Okay, we're first thing we're going to do is we're going to put that armor on and we're going to read our books and see what we get. All right, here we go. What, what do we have right now? I think we have 13. Yeah, we have 13. So let's see how we do here. Fifty-four of seventy-five, we can make our cement mixer and our chem station. Cement mixer. Craft. Alright. Let's put this back on. Put that back in there. Oops. There. Take the mods off our stone shovel. Put it on this shovel. Get rid of that. All right, had the nail gun down because I hit our box here with the axe, and that's never good. So we put our anvil and our crucible in this one. We brought it with us. We're going to need a whole bunch more forged iron. Here's a look at some of the stuff we have. We had that thing making some coolers, because chances are we're going to be seeing traders, seeing if they have any uh, acid, right? I wonder if we can put that on our shovel. We sure can. All right. Okay, and this is what we got here. Let's set that to cook. One potato doesn't do us a lot of good. Hmm. What the hell are we going to cook for 614? I don't know. Let's get the water going. Okay. So our cement mixer's rolling out of there. We're going to need to set this to make more forged iron. We need 100 of it. We have 15. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, acid. The trader might have some, or down the road there might be some here too. Oh hey. Ooh, and a his spitty. Oh. There. Good morning. Okay, well the Judy Witch is right down here. And so we're just going to take a quick peek in here, see if maybe we can find some acid. Let's put the snake in the bike. Where are you? I know you're here. There's one. There's one. And there's one over there. I gotta admit, she startled me. I was not expecting her. Alright, now let's see if we got some acid here. Yeah, we do. Look at that, the first pile. Oh hey, look what else we got. Where's our new shovel? Well, come on. Okay, so we're doing good on the glue here. Should probably take the mushrooms. Another lockpick. I don't know what that was, but we're taking it. We can one-shot those pallets. Thirteen cornmeal. Oh. 
shop rags. Okay. We've got our acid. Now we just got to wait for the, um, wait for that forge to check out our forged iron. That was pretty darn lucky, I think. Most grocery. That's not where I want to be. Oh, take the snake. Thirty two mushrooms. All right. Oh, hey. Now we need thirty four. It's got to melt in some more. Some more stuff first, and there is our cement mixer. That there. Actually, yeah, we'll load that up because we're going to be needing all that stuff for when we go see the base. Is that all the cobblestone we have? Yeah, and that's... yeah, not optimal. Mm-hmm. 31 concrete. Okay, well, an egg. You, let's go see Mr. Congeniality here. Maybe he has some cobblestone for us, and then we'll go take a look at the base. I have an idea what I want to do to it. It's not very much, but it is something. Now, the other fun thing is I have loot respawn turned on, so... Is that supposed to be doing that? Did we have anything in here? We did. You're welcome here. My shop, my rules. You follow, or you fuck off. Oh, shut up. We could buy the forged iron, but I don't want to waste our coin on that. Should really should get some gas. We don't have that much oil shale, and we don't have that much gas either. But a thousand gas will tide us over. Mm-hmm. Take the building materials. A sale is a sale, even if it is to a scumbag like you. Shut up. For fuck's sake, what is it now? You got any cans of chili in this inventory? You do. Okay. Cha-ching! Thanks, buddy. We have a job for, for him. But I think what we're going to do first is go to the base. Let's turn this off. It's irritating. There we go. All right. Now, what I was thinking, what have we got in here? Oh, nice. All kinds of cobblestone. Okay. Let's just read that. We have what we need. All right. Now, what I was thinking here is if we develop this base, that fighting area needs to be a little bigger. And we're going to need some kind of... Um, these spikes worked well for the day one, or the day one, for the for the first horde. But we're going to need something different to keep them away from the tower, and we don't have electricity yet. So I was thinking force field blocks would be the way to go with that. So the first thing, let's get rid of these. Now I'd like this to be, it's three by three right now, right? Uh, 
I'd like it to be at least 5 by 7. So that's 5. So our last base, I think, was 5 by 5 for the fighting position, and it wasn't quite deep enough. You know, for shooting, exploding things, add zombies right at the right at the fighting gate there. Yeah, I don't like that. Wonder if seven by seven would be too wide. I don't think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Gonna need our new shovel here. Gonna get some much needed clay, too. All right. So we're gonna dig a two wide trench. The only problem is going to be this part here. Um, so that's going to be the front face, right? That's going to be... All right, I guess we start here. How many points have we got? We got two. We are going to put some into tool damage. There we go, we can one-shot, and we're going to put the other one into... We were going to put stuff into um, bartering and whatnot, but I think we're going to just put it into resources. That's the toughest grass I've ever seen. I'm going to need some dirt anyway. All right. Okay, like that. We're going to go down to the rock layer. Yeah, we're going to cobblestone everything up. We're expecting cops this time. Yeah, we'll figure something out here to do with this after we get our trench dug. So, bear with me here while we do some digging. Oh, hey, a wandering horde. Let's have some of this stuff. It would have been nice if you guys would have shown up later. Could have tested the force field blocks. But here you are. Hey, thank you. What'd you bring us? Nice, some ammo, couple of club books, shop rags, farmer gloves for rifle damage, uh-huh, and a can of lamb. Cool. Thank you. Any more of you? Just going to dump that in the bike. Okay. I think we're sorted. Pretty much. Noon already, and there's our day 19 airdrop coming in. Okay. 
Airdrop day 19. We'll go get that at some point. Not right now. Alright, now we're going to need a ladder just to get out of here. There. Okay, I think what we're going to do here... Mm -hmm. Just dig this out. We're going to have to... It's for... It's going to be used for the foundation at some point anyway, if we decide to develop this base. And the same on the other side. Alright. Yeah. Not ideal, but I think this will work. We're going to need a whole bunch more blocks. I have no idea how many more. And we're going to want this one. That one. Survivor long, hey? See, we can walk on these, but the zombies don't think they can, so they won't. Unless they get pushed onto them or something. Oh, oh yeah, we should. I was thinking we really should solidify that, the deep layer, into wood at least. So I think we will. Gonna need a ton more wood, I think. But let's just get that deep layer down first. Alright. Now we can do the wood thing. Oh shit. Alright, we got a couple up to cobblestone, but that's... that's fine. That's okay. I wonder if we should make them all cobblestone. I'm seriously considering it. Hmm. I think if the top layer is cobblestone, that'll do. Alright, there we go. The top layer is cobblestone. Yeah, it doesn't look like a lot, does it? Now, the other thing I'd like to do is... How much wood do we have? Very little. We're going to have to solidify everything here. And not just that, but we're going to have to... We're going to have to cement some stuff, concrete. I don't know why those are discolored. Might just be shadow. Hmm. They really didn't do a lot of damage to the base for the on the first horde. Mind you, there really weren't all that many of them either. Hmm. 
Yeah, there weren't that many of them. They didn't do a lot of damage. A lot of this stuff I want to turn into concrete. Doors are undamaged. Okay. All right. We're just going to fight with a 3x3 for tomorrow. If we decide to develop this base, then that'll be for after this horde. Hmm. Okay. Don't know what that's all about. Should probably just put dirt there anyway. All right, why don't we go get our airdrop? See what's in there. I would love to have a zombie come and test this thing, but I don't see any. Mm-hmm. I see no zombies in a zombie game. Hmm. Kind of worrying. What else I'd like to do at some point is take this rock. You know? Maybe we'll do that overnight. Let's go get our airdrop, though. See what kind of goodies we got in there. Right beside a garbage pile with some sand in it. Book bundle? Pipe rifle bundle, that'll have some ammo in it, a vehicle book, goldenrod tea, and two cornbread. Let's use that. What did we get in our book bundle? We got two knife guys. Hunting knife quality four. We got two cookbooks, and we got two rifle books. Hunting rifle quality two. And we got three more rifle books. Hunting rifle quality three. Nine, <laughs> 99, 762. And a quality three pipe rifle, which, yeah, it's garbage. All right, well, that was actually pretty good. I like the ammo. I like the books. Oh, I want to collect some flowers. Well, there's a zombie. Hey, dude. Didn't do too bad on the flowers. Okay, let's go back to... Let's get some iron. Yeah, let's get some iron. Alright, out of stamina. What was that job we had? It was a clear. It's late. Um... Let's just go take a look at this thing. We might be able to run through it. If not, we can do it tomorrow. Oh, it's the one with the car in the kitchen. Okay, well, it's not that late. Yeah, it's not that late.
Got our arrow back from her. Yeah. Uh, this does the same damn thing as soon as you walk on it. Needed wood anyway, so what the heck, right? Hidden stash with bows degrade 20% slower and the super corn recipe for, for whatever that's worth. See? Does that to you. And then those ones we just killed come after you. Ooh. Where's our new shovel? We'll take the pipes. All right, we went things in the wrong order again because that's what we do. Just go dump off something to sell. I hate this. There used to be one in there all the time, and it would never spawn until you were at the top of the stairs. If you don't take care of this now, you're going to have to take care of it later. Might as well take care of it now, because the floor above collapses and sends you into this room, and there's no way out, and there's three of them. Alright, let's go get our stuff. There might be one more up there to kill. No, nope, that's still not better than ours. There's our loot, yeah, there is one, isn't one, is one. Passing gas crate. Vehicle book, a little bit of gas. General crap that one would throw in the garbage. See, there's the room with the three of them in there, hey? You walk on that, it collapses, and all of a sudden it's howdy doody, and you're screwed. A little bit of ammo, a little more ammo, pistol parts, one cornmeal, a bandolier, and craft diamond tip blade mods. I never do, you know? Uh, machete parts and a little bit of gunpowder, and medical books and plastics and a regular bandage. All right. That's that. There's usually very little in this kitchen. Piece of paper, some garbage, some more garbage, some of it useful. Tactical warfare, pumpkin seed, and some iron. Scrap the one nail. More garbage. Two cornmeal. And like that, we're done. Pipes. All right, let's go see if we have time to get paid. That's debatable. See what our options are for finishing well, tier three. Here, boys. We got ourselves a real life hero. Oh my God, now, the best thing of the bunch is some herbal antibiotics. Paid. And for finishing tier three, we get night vision, melee mods bundle, machete crafting bundle, machine gun crafting bundle. Um. You know what? We can see just fine, but I want to play with those. Unless you're, I go broke with more customers like you. Okay, let's get out of here. All right. Well, 
yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. We're going to go back to base. We're going to craft whatever we can craft. See if we can get our chem station going. Because that thing takes a long time to finish, eh? And prepare for the horde. Gotta cementize. <laughs> stuff put away see how we're doing we've got 66 we need 34 we have 75 we're golden we are golden let's put that in there for now that in here just making some room oh i don't want to put that there Just for S and G, let's, um... Yeah. I don't know. We'll play with them. I'm not a big fan of the oval. The black and white, I notice, m messes with one's depth perception, hey? So, it's fun to play with. We will play more with it. Okay, now we can make our chem station. That's going to take all night, but it was worth it. That's what I wanted to get done today. We got a good start on what we want to do to the base. Got to make some more cement mix, concrete mix, whatever you want to call that stuff. The hard stuff. And um, finish off that base tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe do a job for wreck, maybe two. Maybe just hang about the town, see what's what, you know. And then we're fighting a horde, and I really need your help then. So thanks for coming along with me today. It was a very productive day. I'm very pleased with what we got done. We got our cement mixer made. We got our chem station underway. We read all our Forge Ahead books, and we came out on the on the north side of 50 of them, which is really good. We finished off Tier 3, and tomorrow is another day, and I'm really going to need your help. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, maybe a comment. I love talking to you. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye.